Oh, hello, and welcome to National Post Maker Nation, a look at notable Canadian inventions. Hey, here's something Canadians probably didn't invent. Hockey. Yes, we're still better at it than everyone else, but in 2014, Canadian hockey historian Jean-Patrice Martel helped discover that a game called hockey had existed in England since 1790, nearly 100 years before the first sanctioned hockey game was played in Montreal. Even Charles Darwin was playing hockey before Canada. But here's something that a Canadian definitely did invent, the Java programming language. Now, you may not think Java is as exciting as hockey, but it is way more influential. As the world's number one computer programming language, it's estimated that you can find it on more than three billion devices worldwide. The chip in your bank card likely uses Java. Parking meters use Java. Mars exploration rovers use Java. Chances are good you are watching this video on a device that uses Java right now. What's most amazing is Java's resilience. When it was invented, cell phones looked like this. Yet despite more than 20 years of explosive technological change, it's held on to the top spot. In terms of computer languages, it's like English, French, Spanish, Mandarin, and Esperanto all rolled into one. And it was invented by this guy, Alberta-born James Gosling. In 1970s Calgary, you could have seen a teenage Gosling writing early computer code to interpret data from the Canadian research satellite ISIS-2. By the 1990s, he was working at California's Sun Microsystems, right at the beginning of the era when computers were starting to find their way into everything. Cars, locomotives, tea kettles, televisions, and most importantly, telephones. In the early days of smart appliances, engineers were just cobbling together ad hoc code that was riddled with errors. Java was designed as a uniform way to program all these computery things and allow them to talk to each other. Now, Gosling may look like most 60-something computer programmers, but to the programming set, he has been described as a rock star. Tens of thousands of people around the world make their living by knowing how to speak Java, and Gosling has indeed been mobbed by admirers on trips to India and China. And unlike basically everyone else in Silicon Valley, Gosling is a really nice guy, which we Canadians can probably take some credit for. 